Hi, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Leah Lynchide. We begin with a developing story. A UW student studying abroad is still missing three days after friends say he never returned home from his first night out in Rome, Italy. Bo Solomon is 19 years old. His phone and wallet were stolen, and there's been no word of him since Thursday. But his family hopes by sharing his story, someone will help bring Bo home. Bo Solomon lives for sports, always has. He's a huge athlete, um, quarterback here for River Valley. He loves football and golfing, and he's an avid Wisconsin sports fan. And he's a badger through and through. He's an amazing kid. Um, Maybe that explains Bo's perseverance in the face of any obstacle, because Bo is tough, always has been. Bo's overcome a lot in his life. As a child, he suffered from a rare form of cancer. He had bouts with chemotherapy and multiple surgeries, and he overcame all that. A smart kid, too. Bo will be a sophomore at UW this fall. When he grows up, he wants to be a politician. Um, he's part of the Young Republicans Club. Thursday, he arrived in Italy for a study abroad trip. Out with friends that first night at an espresso bar, Bo never came back to his dorm. He's tough, he's strong, and uh, he's got a big heart. Bo's family is sharing his picture, his story, his spirit, in hopes that someone can help. Uh, he's a social butterfly, and he's just kind of beloved by everyone. He's the glue that keeps our family together. We all know Bo is tough on the field, on the greens, and in life. And once he's home, he'll show us that perseverance once again. I think we're just going to be so happy to see him. No, he's OK. Bo's parents are on the way to Italy tonight to try and find him. They're asking you share his picture across social media with the hope that someone in your network will recognize him. Well, we have team coverage of the story continuing with Chris Gothner tonight. What is the UW saying? Hi, Leah. Well, Vice Provost and Dean of Students Lori Berkwam said, quote, we are deeply concerned about Bo and are working with John Cabot University in Rome and American and Italian authorities to assist in any way possible as they seek information on his whereabouts. We ask all Badgers to keep Bo and his family in their thoughts and prayers. Now, as Berkwa mentioned in her statement, Bo is studying through John Cabot University in Rome. That's a small American liberal arts school. And it's not the first time a student at a Wisconsin university was involved in an incident in Rome. In June of 2013, Andrew Keith Carr from Marquette University was also on John Cabot's study abroad program in Rome. Carr died after slipping and falling from a ledge on the banks of the Tiber River. We'll have more on Bo Solomon's story tonight on News 3 at 10. And you know, Leah, this is every family's worst nightmare, and we can only hope that this has a positive outcome. I grew up with Bo and his family, and I, I can't speak to what a good kid he is, how much he's already been through in his life and has persevered through. Um, so keep your thoughts and prayers with this family. Absolutely. All right, thanks, thanks Chris.